welcome to Zilla Cabs. Right, pretty interesting video today. We're taking a look at the new triple cone speaker from Celestian Speakers. So I don't know about you, but with the, with the way things are in the world at the moment, without a proper NAM convention, I haven't really been keeping up to date with the new releases from um, different manufacturers this year. But Celestian have just announced the new triple crown speaker, which they are putting out as a full range live response speaker. Now we already have seen a speaker in this line from Celestian, the F12X200, but this one's got a slightly different construction to it. Um, it's very much aimed again at the uh, modeling amplifiers and impulse response uh, sort of users. And this, this speaker's actually got three cones inside it. So it's got two little tweeters in front of the, uh, the, the sort of standard 12 inch um, cone that we're used to seeing on a Celestian speaker. So this is rated at 150 watts and I thought we'd load it into our compact 1x12 here just to see how it sounds straight out of the box. When you get any new speaker, it's worth exploring what cabs it sounds best in, what sort of situations it works well with. But that being said, we know this compact 1x12 really well, so it's always a good place to start for us. Um, this is an open back cab and typically, we tend to prefer the live response speakers in closed backs just to give them the full range to the low end that they, they might need for some of the sounds that you might want to deliver through them. But again here, uh, I like the, the liveliness of the compact um, and it just allows it to breathe a bit more and sometimes sounds a bit more lively in the room. So I've gone for a really simple rig to, to demonstrate this. I'm using um, the HX Stomp pedal from Line 6's Helix range, which is a fantastic sounding um, full range, well, I don't know what to call it, it's a pedal basically. Uh, and in there I've actually got some impulse responses of Zilla cabs, so we can hear how this all sounds um, pushing a Zilla cab through the, through the cabinet itself. Now miking up a full range speaker is never really the sort of end goal of, of what they, their, their purpose is really. Um, they're, they're meant to deliver a mic'd up sound already through them. So adding another microphone in front is just adding another layer of coloration. So bear that in mind when you're listening to this. But that being said, um, I've put a couple of microphones on the front just to give as, as wide a spectrum of sound as I can, um, just to demonstrate as closely as I can to what it sounds like in the room. I should say also that to amplify the sound from the stomp, I'm using a Marshall 100-100 EL34 power amp. Now this amp has uh, two sides of 100 watts, and I'm just using one side here in mono, and the speaker's rated at 150 watts, so it should easily take everything this um, power amp can, can throw at it. This amp is really loud, so I, I didn't want to push it. This is a new speaker, I'm not sure how it responds yet. So I've got it at sort of maybe like a, a jam room kind of level where you're playing with a drummer. Um, not ridiculously loud, but uh, certainly getting some air moving in the room. So we'll move on to some clips of me playing. Um, before we do that, it just remains to be said, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you, and you like the sort of uh, videos that we're putting out, please take a moment just to hit the subscribe button. Uh, the bell icon for notifications of those new videos and more importantly as well leave us a comment uh, let me know what you think about this the, the way this new speaker sounds um, and any other suggestions you've got for videos that you might like to see from us so you're going to hear me play in a few different styles using the strat and the paul reed smith mirror also using a couple of different amplifier models from within the stomp so um, yeah i hope you enjoy and we'll catch you next time cheers <laughs> Oh, my God.